Dave Skosik. With this program, we are at the Air Mobility Command Museum at Dover Force Base. I'm with one of the uh, tour guides, Tricia Upchurch. Welcome. Nice to meet you. You have an interesting background. Tell me about yourself. I'm a teacher from St. Louis, Missouri. I taught high school history to juniors and sophomores. And I moved here in October. Uh, my husband and I recently married in August. And I contacted Mike and asked him if I could help out at the museum with any educational needs that they have. And they allow me to come up here. And I get to volunteer once a week with them and work with their education. Well, good. It, welcome. I've been out here before, but uh, I understand there's a whole new crop of the volunteers willing to uh, take people around. I think that's really important teaches kids a lot. Yes, it does. The kids love it when they come up here. They get to see all the aircraft and we have a wealth of knowledge within our volunteers. All of the, Many of them have uh, worked on these planes or flown these planes and our restoration crew does a great job with making them look as awesome as they do. So. And I see in the course background of yours can see that we're up in the old control tower overlooking the vast array of aircraft that used to come in and out of here. Uh, and you understand it's a very uh, very heavy learning curve here, learning all of the aircraft. Yes, it can be very, it can be really intense. When I came here, I uh, did not know a whole lot about aircraft, and thanks to my husband's help and the volunteers here, I have learned so much. So I really do value the learning opportunities that are here, especially for kids when they come up. And you talked about the kids. The place is full of kids today. It has to yes. do with a, a tour, but you also have aviation camps. Yes, we do have an aviation <laughs> camp. It's uh, three different weeks during the summer, so kids <laughs> can sign up to come for a week. And uh, it's $125 per child. Uh, if they choose not to fly with our Aero Club, it's $100. But we offer a lot of things with the camp. The kids get a tour of the base. They get to go into the control tower that is on base. They get to go- The actual to, operating control yes, tower. Yes, the wow. actual operating control tower. They go to the f fire department and they get to see the fire trucks, how, what they would do in case of a crash with an aircraft. Um, and they have some new fire trucks up there, so they're pretty cool. I get to see those. <laughs> Kids love fire trucks and airplanes. Yes, and they might get to see uh, water squirt out of the trucks. We'll see. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it can maybe happen. Um, and they will also get to see life support and just what happens if a situation like that occurs where maybe a pilot, they have to learn what to do with a water situation, how to use their life vest. And you mentioned the... Uh, the uh, aviation, the small aircraft that they can actually take a, a flight? Yes, they're going to uh, take a flight with our Aero Club. I will take up about four kids at a time mm -hmm. and they'll take a loop around the Dover Air Force Base and I think they go out a little bit so they might see a little bit of Dover. Mm -hmm. It will be a neat perspective for the kids since some of them maybe have never been in a plane before. They get to see their home oh, from oh, the absolutely. sky. So. I imagine they take a lot of pictures while they're flying up there. Yes, yes, we'll definitely welcome that and they'll also do a pre-check uh, pre beforehand with our blue canoe aircraft that we have. It's a little small plane and they can walk around and check are the tires okay, are the lights okay, are the ailerons Part and the rudder. Free flight yes. checklist in real life. Yeah. Tell me about the simulators downstairs. The simulators, the students will get to fly, uh, d they have options to fly different variety of aircraft and so they'll get to see just what it's like to have to take off with a plane and practice how our pilots practice. My husband flies simulators all the time just to stay current with different requirements that the Air Force has. So they you can, mentioned he's a C-5 pilot. Yes, he's a C-5 pilot with the 9th Squadron. And I mean, they are always staying current with everything, just to know the different parts of the planes, uh, mm -hmm. the inner workings of them, just to make sure that they're safe, that the crew's safe. Mm -hmm. So it's neat for the kids to get to see how that works too. Now, in addition to the aviation camp, you do regular tours here for schools and individuals. Yes, we do regular tours for schools and individuals. All of them are free. Uh, that's for the schools and the individuals. That's great. Yes, it's awesome. I think today we have a little over 100 kids coming in today for our tours. And the teachers can call, book in advance, and we'll set it up with the tour guides and everything. But they get to see all of our aircraft outside. We have aircraft inside the hangar. It's really neat, everything that they get to see. So we have a lot of tourists that go through Dover. And, mm -hmm. and uh, can somebody call up, say maybe somebody comes to Dover Downs or something, and they see these, all these aircraft parked out here. If they were to call, could they get, the, could they get a tour or impromptu? Oh, yes. They can just walk in and request a tour. We have plenty of tour guides that are more than willing to give a tour and tell them the entire history of the base, the specific aircraft, and they're really knowledgeable, so they can answer a lot of their questions. Now, do they have to have any kind of a pass to get on the base? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Nothing at all. They can just 
drive in, park, and come on in, and we will welcome them with all open arms. Because even though you're connected, you're really not part of the base, and you're mm -hmm. separated by a fence, so that's yes. why there's no security requirement. Mm -hmm. So they just come south of the base and uh, towards uh, Kitsumik, and they'll see yes. the entrance to the uh, to the museum. Yes. So how long have you been a tour guide here? You seem to know an awful lot. Uh, <clears> since <throat> November, I've been working uh, here. Okay, I know we talked ahead of time, and you have a great deal of knowledge. <laughs> uh, uh, you know about the base, and certainly you have that. Uh, you're you're part of the family here. Yes. So, uh, anything else that you would like to to add? Uh, this year to our camp, uh, we've added a visitor. Uh, we're going to have an astronaut come talk to the kids. Ooh. His name is Terry Hart, and he was actually a pilot here with the F 106s the Delta Darts, and so he has a lot of. He's part of the history of the base, and he has mm -hmm. a lot of knowledge about that aircraft. And he's also going to tell the kids a little bit about what it's like to go into space, which is neat because it brings another aspect mm -hmm. of aviation careers that you can go into and just the different aspects of it. Because one thing we want to bring in with the camp is showing kids there's more than just one type of job with aviation. You have navigators, you have weather, just all the different parts that go into actually making sure these planes can get where they need to go, that the crews can get their missions done, and that the planes are loaded properly so that there's no mishaps. There's a lot that goes into it that many people don't realize, but this, the kids will be able to see that. Sound like you're almost a pilot. <laughs> it would be pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to note that here. So uh, the, the website is uh, amcmuseum.org. If people yes. want to check in, and there'll be a phone number associated with that. We'll have that on the screen as well. Yes. And uh, it was so nice to talk to you. It was very nice talking We're to you, We're spending Dave. our entire day here, and we'll have other folks to interview, and we'll be right back after these messages.